Hello guys, this is Rito Photo House and today I will talk upon numerous requests. I will talk about Helios 44.3 Prime Russian Lens. I had many requests from the, from the visitors of my channel. The people are very interested in how to lubricate focusing of this nice solid lens. In fact, this is further development of the Helios famous 44-2 lens with some improvements, with better handling, I would say, and um, better handling of focusing and aperture control. And also this lens has multi-coated optics is more more or less the all the differences the optical schema remains the same so sometimes this lens suffer from old grease and I would like to show how to completely clean up and um, relubricate this lens so to do all this manipulation we need, need following things the set of uh, micro screwdrivers the lubricant I used the team 201 lubricant it was specially dedicated and developed for in Soviet Union for for this purpose and um, cotton sticks to eliminate all grease alcohol 96% of alcohol and uh, also the tooth sticks tooth wooden sticks so let's start. First of all, we need to separate the optical block from the helicoid part. Okay. To do this, you take lens in this position and turning to the left. You sometimes you need apply a force even turning to the left. You unscrew it. As usual, as ordinary Helios 44.2. So this we don't need. There is also a um, adjusting ring. This we don't need. We just put it apart. We will work with this focusing part. So now we need to remove this ring. Just fo focus it on infinity in this position. And using a screwdriver there are three little screws. You need to remove all of them. One. Two and three. Here you have. Then you need to remove this ring. There are also three holes with screws inside. We need to remove them, but first of all, we need to make the marking on this ring because uh, the proper position is only one position. And if you will put improper in, in a wrong way this ring your focusing scale and matter distance scale will 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 not be working as it should so to put the marking i personally i uh, i find this yellow treat this is a yellow line and here i'm making a marking with with screw or with a permanent uh, marker or whatever else and then we have this mark and we will be able to align the, li the yellow line with our marking and put properly the ring and then we are just removing the screws one two and three
so we have this now we need to remove this ring it holds hold together all and this rear part thread part hold together with the with with this part so there are also three screws in the holes and by removing them you release this ring for turning and it, it becomes available for removing then you take this part with your right hand for example and this ring with left hand and you just applying a force you turn it to the left and as there is a thread inside it it comes comes out Then you can easily remove by pushing, by pulling, sorry. You can easily remove the rear side. Then you have access to the thread, to the focusing thread and all old grease on it. Just pay attention, look, in, look here. There is some kind of the groove here. And the blocking screw and it works like this it's like a stopper here you see when you will reassemble it should remain in this in this position it's very important so the once stopper is here you may see it and another stopper is here so just we need to remove this ring completely we remove this upper stopper, I would say. Sometimes you, you may use a bigger screwdriver. And then you can remove completely this ring but I advise you to, to proceed in the following way uh, you need to mark the position the ultimate I would say position where it, re it remains on the thread I will show you how So here it comes, but it's still inside the thread. And for example, here it's still okay, or here it comes out. In this position, we need to make a marking in order to facilitate the reassembling proce procedure. Here you just made, I made a marking in this position. So I can remove the rings and after I just align them and start to turn and it comes without problem and we will achieve the the blocking in the same blocking pin in the same position I think it's clear the idea how to proceed to in order to reassemble it properly and then you have access to all surfaces you just need you take the cotton stick or whatever else or piece of cotton and you clean up all threads from old grease sometimes you may need to apply a bit of alcohol if it requests um, to be how to say If it's too solid I would say but this one is more or less okay with removing 
without alcohol if you wish and so doing you you proceed with all surfaces one surface here this groove especially and this also here so once we have cleaned all the surfaces especially thread here here the groove here and these surfaces as well then we can start relubricating I just take the the tooth stick wooden and the Z team grease and I apply it on the thread not very big quantity as you may see apply it here then apply it on the internal thread here we have and apply it as well in the groove then we can start reassembling it but first we need to find our marking here here you may see it then we take this part we have our marking and we have this part we align two markings like this and we're just turning to the left it comes we check out if it properly assembled here you see it's okay it's in the proper position and then we can put this part by the way we just can apply really a little bit of grease on this surface this may be too much maybe we'll we will later wipe it out we'll, we'll check so and you may see ah so once we put these two parts together we just need to screw in the, this blocking pin It fits perfectly this place and uh, here you may see there is a groove here so th this pin and this groove should come together like this up you have it then we will just put a bit of grease on this external thread to facilitate the outer ring mounting but not very big quantity just a bit and then we will put this ring so uh, 
pay attention, there are the holes here. I advise you to wipe them from the grease because we need to find them their location to put the screws I advise you also to make the marking here on the visible surface in front of the hole to to put properly the ring because this we will not see and we, we need to find some repair some to so let's put the ring like this here is our marking you may see it And then we need to align the holes with the with the inner uh, places for the for the screws, and we will need to uh, to check if this rear part is not moving. So it's it's moving, so it's not completely at the places. So I guess this hole should correspond to our marking here. We need just up, and then by by looking into the hole we need to find the inner hole for the, here yeah, I see as you may see I I see the hole inner hole so then we will put the screws inside you may see here this rear thread is not moving it fixed it by this ring and then we need to fix this ring on its place with these little screws be careful these screws should be completely in the holes they will they should not be out of the holes otherwise you will not be able to put the external ring one two and three here We have assembled this all together, so it moves nicely. Then we need to put this ring. We have our yellow line and we have our marking here. We align them all together and in this position, like this, you put it together. You align it here. And then in the hole you find the the screw place on the inside here you may see and then you just put the another little screws sometimes it's a bit tricky with the with the glues medical glues but finally we will we'll do this one two and the third
ring is fixed at this place then we put this inner part moving in this position in this one this is focused on the infinity then you take this external ring you find your infinity sign you align it with yellow line you put together and then in the hole you find the place you can see I found it you keep this all together and you put the the screws appropriated screws one and the last one then you check if everything is worked smoothly as, as it should yes you see and then the, for the final step you just put the the optical block with the adjusting ring with a spacer ring inside the focusing and you screw it in screw it in with a bit of force so here you have you have your helicoid working perfectly with new grease and it will last for the years so that's it thank you for your attention this is Rito Photo House Please visit my eBay shop if you are looking for tested and lubricated Soviet photo lenses. Bye bye.